anytime a juice is green, anytime a drink is green, it just makes me feel so healthy. Like, I just... No, I probably shouldn't do this. What is that? Rolls down his window, yells at me. Hi guys, so as you already know, I really love doing the little like self-care glow up type of videos. I love doing my little self-care nights. I like drinking my matcha. I like doing my at-home workouts. You know the vibes. It's just like a part of who I am. It's in my DNA. It's something that I love so much. However, recently I've kind of been trying to step up my game a little bit and I started going to the gym. First of all, I know I already mentioned that in my last video, but it, like it relates to the video, so you gotta hear me out. And anyway, so along with going to the gym comes the gym bro content on my TikTok and Instagram for you page. And I would be lying if I said that I didn't love it because I need so much help. Like I don't know what to do with like form and stuff like that. So I'm eating up this this gym content from like the gym bros, the gym girls, all that type of gym content. Like I love it. And along with the gym content comes the wellness content, specifically the wellness girly content, as I like to call it. It's kind of its own niche. We all know the type of person I'm talking about. It's not necessarily like that girl or like someone that's better than everyone else. It's just someone that is genuinely living this like healthy lifestyle and it's like just such a lifestyle for them and they're just glowing from within. Okay, I'm putting my arm down on my bed because my arm is getting really tired from my camera. I just want to be clear that when I'm saying wellness girly, I'm not necessarily talking about like that girl because I don't like the idea of saying that one specific lifestyle or look or like diet is like the perfect one. What I've noticed about these people is a lot of them aren't necessarily just following trends or like eating what's aesthetic. For the most part, they're actually being consistent with foods like their bone broth and their celery juice tea stuff stuff like that and like actually getting results and they're very much just like glowing from within and you can just tell that they have so much energy and I gotta say I'm very very inspired because I really love health and it's something I'm passionate about but I also usually am not very consistent with things like I'll start something and then I'm not actually consistent with it like I realized that I'm not gonna be young forever and I should try to start taking care of my health to the best that I can while I'm young and also I want to glow like I'm trying to fix my skin I'm trying to fix my gut microbiome anyway Okay, so this video is gonna be me trying out a bunch of different wellness habits and foods and recipes So yeah, I'm gonna go to the grocery store right now And I'm gonna start buying stuff for this video so that we can start making food making our little juice juicy drinks and Being healthy wellness girls or boys or just like well just wellness people. We're, we're well. We can be wellness people I'm, I'm gonna be a well. I'm wellness also guys, I'm really liking my outfit today. It's very much emulating fall. We got the red lights in the background. We got the jeans. We got the Uggs. We got the brown long sleeve shirt. I genuinely love summer so much. Like summer is, I love summer, but I also equally as much love fall. And I'm very much feeling the cozy fall vibes around. So anyway, this is my outfit. That's the way every day goes, every time we no control. I didn't even style my hair because I have something going on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't deserve it. It's only really one outside, actually. I'm not at all. Erica's getting lemonade from a little boy. Wait. What am I doing? How much he was, was so it? sweet. It was 50 cents each. He's so cute. He said he was like saving up for Taekwondo or something. How much is Taekwondo, whatever it is? I don't know. Why not that much if it's a He said his mom's like saving up for it and he's trying to help out or something. And he was wearing this shirt and it was like Taekwondo. <laughs> That is so Okay guys, so we made it to the first and hopefully the only destination and that is Whole Foods. And I wanna say I've never been to a Whole Foods before, but I feel like I have. Um. Okay, so I was in Dick's Sporting Goods yesterday. I don't think, no, I probably shouldn't do this, but I saw this Stanley and it was like literally a gallon. It was like this huge Stanley, but it was like light pink and it was so freaking cute. And I really wanted it and I picked it up to see the price and it was like $70, $80. You could buy three plus brandy bubble. I know. No. I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not even just brandy bubble any shirts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Now, I don't even know why I vlogged just now because, like, I don't have anything to say. The door to Brandy Melville. <laughs> Stop. Um, what kind of shit are they? Okay, no. I will be getting this. I will be getting this. Yo. Oh, it's heavy. I'm getting this. I'm getting it. Ooh, okay, yeah. Ooh. Snake. Sorry. Sometimes I eat without actually having to eat them.
red sugar in this little bag. Um, it's not even good for you. The Justin's. Uh, I'm going to try it. I've already tried it. They're really good. You try it again? I still need a dessert. I need to go get one. I need to get one. Oh, I forgot I'm driving. That's insane. Okay guys, we are out of Whole Foods and I gotta say, I was a little bit stressed checking out for some reason. We got Olipops and we've been really obsessed with them since last week. Yes. And the flavor that I got is classic fruit beer, which we're really excited to try. What did you get? I got vintage cola. Oh, sorry. I made it really loud, so be <laughs> noise. Mm, that tastes really good. That tastes like the one we got on vacation, but with no cream. Mm. You can definitely tell it's not root beer, but I can see the root beer vibe. I like the cream one better, honestly, but this is good. Mm -hmm. No, that tastes like soda. Wait, this is cola? Yeah. That's like, okay, why is this like um more fruity than Coke? This or like, smells like kind sweeter. of a weird aftertaste. Okay, what are the ingredients? I'm really curious. I don't know. Cactus? Mars? I feel very healthy in like LA. Like we just like went to Whole Foods. Got a little grocery that was like ninety dollars for oh, like yeah. five things. I'm like in home. She does do that. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day, and I'm going to start kind of like cooking some things up in the kitchen, becoming a little chef, if you will, with the things that I got from Trader Joe's. No way, Whole Foods. I keep wanting to see Trader Joe's for some reason. I don't even think I've ever been to a Trader Joe's, but I kind of like, I feel like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's is kind of the same thing. So I got the stuff from Whole Foods. I got it from Whole Foods yesterday. Obviously you guys saw I Anyway, I got the celery um, as the first thing and I'm gonna get more into detail about like why I got each thing. I got some spearmint tea. Next, we got I think this is, stop. I think this is actually my favorite thing that I got because it's literally bigger than my head. Like look, if you didn't know, I literally love kombucha so, so, so much. I would have one every day if it wasn't expensive, but I just love kombucha, like it is so delicious. And like, yes, it is really good for you, but it also just tastes so good. Like I honestly, would pick kombucha over soda any day literally because I love the taste so much and I know a lot of people think it tastes gross but you have to get like the right brands and kind of warm up to it and it tastes so 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 good and like this big bottle like I can't even begin to describe how happy this makes me and also it was only ten dollars the first few sips always kind of wake me up a little bit but it's like in the best way possible okay next i got some chia seeds then i got two things of this kettle and fire bone broth i don't know if it's like a trend or if i'm just like if it's just the side of tiktok and instagram that i'm on but i've been hearing so much about bone broth and how good it is for you and all that type of stuff and like how the ancestors thousands of years ago drank bone broth and it's like so deliciously healthy for you so i got this and i think you're supposed to drink it plain so maybe like tonight like later tonight i'll drink some of this because i'm gonna be consuming a lot of food and i kind of want to space it out because i don't want to like overwhelm my body with like so many foods and then the last thing that i got was a little bit of an impulse purchase but it's this body brush i really have been wanting to get one of these for a while because it's really good for your skin to like do this to it to like get all the dead skin cells off and yeah that is everything that i got from whole foods and now i'm gonna go ahead and start cooking actually i don't know if this would be considered cooking but the first thing that i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be making celery juice also i'm looking really proud of the little list that i made here i did like all of the health benefits the ones i found from tiktok the one i found from like actual research all the little things and i use the app notability to do this and this is not a sponsorship but i do work with them like i'm like a partner with them which is really fun and this is one of my new favorite apps for my ipad i will say a lot of these tiktok people or like people that are posting wellness content are really doing their research because the things that they were saying are like the benefits or the benefits that they've seen really lined up with the research that i was doing so i feel like i mean definitely do research but i feel like sometimes 
TikTok can be trustworthy. I mean, it's always good to do your own research. But anyway, very anti-inflammatory and helping your gut, which ties into skin. So the main benefit that I've seen a lot of people talking about with celery juice is that it like supposedly is a magical potion that clears up your skin and is so amazing. And my skin isn't looking too bad right now, but like I definitely struggle with acne and I'm always down to drink some green juice and clear my skin so that would be a really cool benefit if it would like help clear up my skin like i said i'm gonna try to be consistent with some of these things but we'll see like if this tastes really gross you're not gonna catch me drinking it anymore okay so in order to make silver juice we obviously need to have a juicer so my family has this juicer but i will say it's very 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 beaten up and like busted and it tries to like deconstruct itself as it's working it's really really bad this is not a bougie juicer this is like a very unstable messed up juicer so i'm gonna put this thing together and show you ew so it looks like it wasn't clean like whoever used it last didn't clean it <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm here with Josie and she's gonna help me do this juicer because this is crazy. So <laughs> just like really just <laughs> how much are juicers? Do you see this? Oh see. finally done with the celery juice and I'm gonna like drink it later and hopefully once it's cooled it tastes better because it just did not taste very good so the thing about celery juice that I'm kind of skeptical about is like it feels like I'm wasting a lot like I had to put a lot of stuff or like the leftover fibers and stuff down the garbage disposal and it kind of feels wasteful and I also know that fiber is a very important part of like having a healthy diet so it almost feels like I should just be eating the celery but I don't really like celery that much which is a problem so I mean I guess it's better to have the juice and get some of the nutrients than to not eat it at all anyway so that's kind of my thoughts on that and then also my juicer is very very busted so maybe if I would get like a really good juicer I would actually enjoy it more but this took me literally over an hour to make two bottles of celery juice anyway so right now i'm gonna go ahead and make myself some lunch because i'm really hungry i forgot to show you this when i showed you my haul earlier but i got some sardines i haven't had sardines in so long so i really don't know if i like them or not but i feel like the general consensus is that sardines are disgusting there's this one girl on tiktok her name is ali and i've been following her for a little while she's like very much into wellness if you're trying to glow up your life you need to be eating sardines Super high in omega-3s, EPA and DHA, great for your heart health. Gonna keep you full because they're so high in protein and so high in fat. This is my secret, y'all. And I would literally just trust anything that she says because she's literally glowing and she seems like she's very researched in what she does and very committed to the things that she does choose to implement into her diet. And the one thing that she talks about all the time that she eats every single day is sardines. And she says that she either eats some plain, which I'm gonna try it, but that it just sounds so disgusting. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'm gonna try eating them plain. And then the second way that she says she eats them is she eats them in like a salad with a bunch of lettuce. So that's probably what I'm gonna do as far as like making that for my lunch. I feel like I'm not gonna like this. This is just giving cat food. She said to make sure to get the one with olive oil. So I think that's what's like dripping. Ooh. 
look? You're kidding. You're joking. You're joking. What is that? <gasps> Why is there skin on it? Why? I thought this was gonna be like all chopped up, de skin, de bone. This is like the whole fit. This is like straight up fish. I am so genuinely repulsed. Like, I'm gonna try to eat it. Not plain. I'm not gonna. I I can't do. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do it for the vlog. Like, no. I'm drawing the. I can't. No. I'm gonna try to make myself a little salad though. I'm like, I cannot get over how freaking disgusting that looks. Like, it looks like. It just got caught from the lake, which I guess like would be a good thing if you're trying to be healthy, but like that, no. Into the bowl. No. This is, no. The spine is <laughs> Ew. Okay, so update. I ended up forcing myself to like pick the bones and like pick out some of the bits of meat. And I put it in with this lettuce and I also added some pasta. So I feel like it's not gonna be that bad because I like tuna. I'm gonna do a taste test. I have not tasted this yet. You know how some fish are like more fishy than other fishes are? Like this is like very fishy, but I've had fishier. That's not too bad. Like I could eat that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this watch some YouTube and then we'll continue. Hopefully the rest of the stuff that I do will be less traumatizing because like that literally drained my energy by how and I know I'm like being very dramatic but like this is just my personality like I can't do both. I, ca I can't but I can do protein so thank you for the protein fish. <laughs> guys so oh my camera's about to die <laughs> hi guys so it is like a few days later so for the past like two three days however long it's been since i last talked to you i have been trying to drink my silver juice this is the last of the silver juice unfortunately i didn't really make very much the other day anytime a juice is green anytime a drink is green it just makes me feel so healthy like i just anyway so what i wanted to do this morning is i want to go back to whole food and i want to get more of the dreaded sardines and you guys already know i don't have to go into the whole sardines tangent i was like i'm never going to be eating a single fish ever again like that is how absolutely vile and disgusting this is to me I changed my mind because I do want to try to be a sardines girly and I want to be glowing from the inside out. So I'm going to be going back to Whole Foods and getting some sardines. But this time I'm going to be getting the boneless ones because I think that was the main thing for me. Like the actual taste of sardines is a little bit strong. I think I could get used to the taste. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll make up ending... Make, end up making um, a recipe with the chia seeds. But I'm really excited because I'm going to tonight... I'm going to... I'm tonight... Okay guys, I need to rant about something for a second. So the other day when I was driving, I can hardly deal with getting beeped at or like honked at. Like I know it's part of driving on the road. It's part of what goes on as a driver, whatever. So I can deal with that every now and then. So I was at a stop sign and I was waiting to go and I kept getting a little bit scared because you know how it is when it's like you could kind of make it, you could kind of pull out in front of someone, but like, you know, like, uh, it's like kind of, I don't know. So I was getting very unsure about whether or not to pull out at the stop sign anyway so the man behind me had the audacity to not like he could have just politely did a little beep beep like a little beep beep but you know what he did rolls down his window sticks his head out and yells at me he says go the rage that filled my body when this man yelled at me i was like what are you doing like i'm just like, i just don't understand the concept of yelling at someone on the road when we literally have horns built into our cars for that exact reason and i'm like sir why are you yelling at me like i'm just scared to pull out i'm actually now really mad and slightly wanting to cry and also terrified of you just don't yell at people on the road okay we have horns maybe his horn wasn't working but like it just wasn't the type of situation where yelling was justified
Okay guys, so it is time for sardines round two. I got a different brand this time. It's the Wild Planet brand. I actually already ate supper tonight, so I don't really feel like doing the whole salad thing. I think I'm just gonna do little taste tests right now, like to see if I like it better than the other brand. Sardine haul. They are black and slimy, and they look like they were just freshly hatched or like killed, or I don't even know if they're dead. Like they look. So fishy, like it just. The next thing that I'm going to be trying, and I've actually tried this before, I just am like trying to actually stay somewhat consistent with it now, is bone broth. And bone broth is just one of those things that's commonly known that it's good for you because of all the benefits that are good for you. Like if you're sick, you drink bone broth and stuff. And a lot of people have recommended that you drink at least a cup of this every day. And I guess you can kind of like do it however, like you can put it in soup or you can drink it plain. And what I've seen a lot of people do is they put it in a mug and they heat it up and they drink it. So I'm gonna see if I like it. Also, this is the brand that a lot of people recommend. It's the Kettle and Fire Bone Broth. I don't mind bone broth. Like it kind of just reminds me of soup. But like if I really started thinking about what it is, it's like bone water bone juice and that's like kind of disgusting I can definitely drink this every day I feel like it's very comforting so maybe in the evening Hi guys, so I know I look a little bit crazy right now because I am doing a face mask, but I have my spearmint tea and I'm not gonna pretend that this is something that I'm trying for the first time. Like we've all had mint tea before, but it's so good. Like this has always been one of my favorite kinds of tea. So some of the benefits of spearmint tea are regulating body temperature, lubricating, joints, preventing infections, delivering nutrients to cells, maintaining organ functionality. It has a lot of antioxidants. And by the way, this is all from WebMD. I have one more thing that I wanna do in this video and that is the dry brushing. And I haven't actually done a ton of research on this yet. Like I've heard about it in the past and then I just kind of was at Whole Foods and I was like, I'm just gonna buy it. I think it's pretty self-explanatory because it's dry brushing. So you just like, is that, Oh, that kind of hurts. It kind of feels like a really good scratch. Okay, so according to this article that I found, dry brushing is an exfoliation method that involves using a body brush to gently massage your skin, which helps with radiance, removing dead skin. It also is looking like it helps with just like blood circulation and lymphatic drainage. I mentioned above. Okay. So according to the article that I just looked at, you're supposed to dry brush before the shower because essentially what you're doing is getting off a bunch of dead skin cells. And then obviously you want to shower those off, but I literally just took a shower and I don't feel like taking another shower. So I'm just gonna wait to do this till like tomorrow night, maybe tomorrow morning. I don't think I'm gonna film it because it's like, is it really? Okay, this lighting is horrifying and I look very scared right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because I do have more things that I wanted to do in this video like I still have more things on the list but I already have multiple hours of footage and I feel like I already kind of did like a decent amount for one video let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this or if you want me to make like a little series or if you want more cooking videos I know I didn't really cook a lot in this video I was like kind of cooking but I feel like that'll be so much fun to do an actual cooking video so let me know if you guys would be interested in that or if you just want more content like this if you thought it was interesting Interesting. I'm feeling pretty optimistic that I'll be able to keep up with at least some of these habits Like I know it's like I said multiple times in this video Probably it's not super attainable to try to keep up with all the habits, but I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, I'm gonna go I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video